So what happens now? Oh, it's a flashback. This is the first time they hung out, right? During training. They went to the woods and spilled their guts. To kill them all. <laughs> like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How awkward this is in hindsight. <laughs> so many things look so different. <laughs> the support. Fast forward to Giant Titan Battle. I understand why Eren is super upset. Obviously, Reiner and Berthold are responsible for so much of the tragedy of Eren's life. But, <laughs> but Reiner has proven that he has good qualities. He's obviously a conscientious person. He cares deeply about his friends and um, cadets. The feeling I get from him does not feel like a typical villain where they're after their own gain or they're after power or something like that, right? He and Bertholdt, like Annie, probably feel in their hearts that what they're doing is the right thing for the people they care about. And so that's sort of why I'm not as antagonistic towards Reiner right now. I want to know the full story before I pass judgment. And I think in real life, I would be ready to pass judgment sort of, but because this is the attack on Titan world that's so bizarre and like for me you know as a first time viewer i have no idea what's behind this whole thing i have no idea what's at stake i don't know if there's like a time loop or something like that i don't know if there actually are gods on this earth it's actually conceivable that humanity is a small price to pay i mean i feel like there's a very small chance that that will make what he did right you know even if there is a good reason in his mind but i think it will make it more understandable if that makes sense close combat oh it's one of those titles with a double meaning get it because i'm close to the breaking point Eren. <laughs> Mikasa's dialogue just writes itself. <laughs> no, I think you did the right thing, long term. But I understand why you feel that way. Because you're a human being. There's more to life than just praying mantises eating butterflies. This dude is huge. <laughs> that should be obvious, given that he's the colossal titan, but I didn't realize quite how big it was. They're not crushing her yet. No, 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 no. We've seen this before. <laughs> no head bite, no death. I follow the rules. I don't make them. I just observe them. We know that, you know, they can just exist in that mucus sac in the stomach. God bless. That is, I mean, not wrong. They want to wipe out humanity, so. The size thing adds a whole other dimension, that's awesome. No, I don't think it'll be easy though. You'd think they'd know by now. It's never easy. And also there's the Armored Titan. Yeah, and he has people inside of him, so I don't think he can just like, get small. Armin will come up with something though, right? <laughs> Armin always knows what to do. When Hanji gives the order to kill rather than capture, you know she means business. Because Hanji is all about the, the capture and understand, right? I wonder if the fact that they're humans that they know makes the difference. It's not the same as, like, Bean and Sani. Even though it's still a mystery, there's less enigma. It's more personal that it's Reiner and Bertholdt, or people that, you know, we know, killing our friends. I guess there's also the practical element of it, which is just that they're way too dangerous. Hanji's not irrational. Not that irrational. <laughs> I feel like they really like Armin. We had all this backstory for her. <laughs> Did he just say help Reiner and Bertholdt? Did he not realize? Wow, I guess it happened so fast that some people just didn't see it? Or is he in denial like me? And here we go, close combat. Me too. 
自分より仲間のことを一番に考えるやつでお前みたいに強くなれたらいいなとか My feeling is that Aaron is right, and I feel like the show did a great job setting Reiner up so that both we and Aaron feel that way about him. And that should give him some pause, or at least it gives me pause. That's sort of the complicated thing about people and about life. You know, multiple things can be true at once. Reiner can be a great person and do terrible things. Part of what Aaron is picking up on is Reiner's strength, and it seems that a lot of his strength comes from conviction. And it seems like where his conviction wavers is confusion about his duty when compared to the costs to people he cares about. Aaron and a lot of the characters will rush to the idea of, well, it was all a lie, but actually the truth is complicated. It wasn't all a lie. Some of it was a lie. A big part of it was a lie. But the interpersonal stuff was probably very real. I think I may have somewhat controversial views on this in terms of relationships in real life. A big part of the process of building my own life, you know, building a healthy world for myself, has been finding things I can trust, you know, finding things I can rely on that create the structure or the backbone for a meaningful and enjoyable human experience. And one of the things that I rely on in that way is my community and people around me. But the challenge to that is who do you put there? You know, who do you trust in that way? And personally, I care very, very little about the superficialities of one's life. One stated side, one stated position, one strata in life, or one's hobbies, or one's appearance. What I look for is somebody's values. How awake are they? How connected are they to their own lives? Do they have room in their lives to have real regard for others, rather than seeing others as a means to their own ends? Do they do good things for an expected reward, or because they would feel terrible about themselves if they didn't do good things? And once I've established certain foundational principles of who they are, they're in my inner circle. And once that happens, I can allow for all sorts of differences of thought and opinion. Even things that I think are terrible at first glance. You know, I'll give it a chance because I've already seen sort of the core. And then it just becomes a matter of like debating or discussing or trying to understand rather than a snap judgment that this external thing represents the entire core being of the person because I've already seen the core. So that's, I think, why I have this reaction to Reiner because Reiner displays a lot of these values. He displays a lot of these qualities that I look for in people. So I'm willing to have patience to find out where he's actually at with this this decision. I'm also willing to be wrong. And I'm also willing for him to be wrong and still forgive, if that makes sense, even though that's difficult. Because the base is workable. Most expressed opinions will melt away over time anyway. What's going to be left? You know, that's what the person is about. Oh, here comes Mikasa. She loves the spinning attack now. I mean, they do call him the Armored Titan for a reason. Again, Armored Titan. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Just let it happen, you know? Again, let me not try to, you know, forgive this. It's pretty terrible. See, this is, this is a lot, right? Like, this is more than what is necessary. There's something else here. Erase, exterminate. You don't deserve to exist? Oh, well that... There's a dirtiness to Eren's thought. You know what I mean? Did he just knock... Oh, I was about to say. I thought he knocked him into human form. That would have been amazing. So is Annie gonna teach him a lesson in the past that helps him defeat Reiner now? Through you using your strength. Also, remember this stance. You'll see it again later. <laughs> and the proper way to speak to women. <laughs> Especially the woman part. That's very useful. It's all a human battle, though. Ultimately. Close combat. <laughs> I like how when Mikasa steps in, everybody immediately knows it's serious. Mikasa does not have, like, a playing instinct. So who won? Yeah, that's what I want to know. Because you gotta use this lesson. Was he just puking confetti? <laughs> there you go, there's the move. Who told you that move? <laughs> oh wow, using his own body to break him. This is some nice grappling. <laughs> Wow, it's looking good.
<laughs> Still has a moment to appreciate, I guess. The geese. Did he just shed some armor to make himself faster? I mean, let's not forget that Reiner is a great fighter. Do Titans need to breathe? Asking the important questions. That was a very <laughs> dragged out but epic entrance for Mikasa. Oh damn, are they actually gonna get Reiner? But there's also Bertholdt. This is that Reiner conviction. He's not going down without a fight. He's still going, somehow. Is that what he's doing? Something else is going on here. Maybe the Titans in the walls or something? Speaking of knowing Reiner, the guy's a warrior. And he's been a warrior for a long time. He's not going down without a fight. I don't think they're gonna capture him. And Bertholdt is a great backup. He is standing there. They got something up their sleeve. Meanwhile, the Colossal Titan's powering up or something for his ultimate attack. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's a good, correct reaction. Oh no, why would you do that to me? Damn it, I hate you. What'd I tell you about Berthold being back up? <laughs> I don't really understand what he was doing there, but this show, man, they just mess with you. It's a weird narrative structure. You know, a lot of it feels like it's backwards. It's being told backwards in the sense that we don't really understand the world yet, and then also told non-linearly through flashbacks. And I think the intent is to mess us up. You know, the intent is to make us think we know what it is and then it, it have it not be that. And so I think what I was saying about values, you know, I think that's kind of the only thing you can actually take stock in here. Funnily enough, if you go by that, Aaron is probably the villain. You know, Aaron is the one who is, you know, thinks the world is sick and like, I gotta wipe you off the face of the earth and you deserve to be erased. You don't deserve to draw breath, you know? That's the kind of thing that I would run from no matter what side I was on, because that's the kind of person who is motivated by just pure rage and anger and will destroy you if, you know, you step on his toes or get on his bad side or something. Reiner's the kind of person who will disagree with you and do what he feels like he has to do, but still love you. There's something there. There's something important about that. There's something real that you can believe in. Other things are just superficial. Other things will fade away. People will turn on you. Mikasa also, you know, Mikasa, I feel like she's not Eren, but I feel like she's kind of bought into Eren's world because of, you know, their childhood and things like that. She doesn't have her own thing yet. She's sort of a neutral. Someone I would trust on this side is like Armin. I would definitely trust Armin. I would trust Levi. I would trust Erwin. It's a little bit trickier with Erwin just because he has so much power and he's making all these crazy decisions. But on some level, I do trust that his motivations are good enough sort of for me to, you know, trust him. At least to trust that I know who he is. Sasha, I would trust. Ymir, I would not trust. I'm just going through the list of all the characters here. Krista, or should I say Historia, is sort of a maybe for me so far. Connie, I'd probably trust. John, John, kind of ambiguous. He could go either way. At least he's a thinker though. I like that. I feel like over time, John John arrives in the right place. But yeah, I just gotta rely on my gut here. That's all I can trust in this crazy world. Just like in life, you know, that's all you really got. You just got your gut about people and you just do your best and you just, you never know. You never know. My personal character biases aside, I'm having a lot of fun with this arc. I feel like the excitement of the show, the intrigue has gone back to what has previously been my favorite arc, which is the forest arc. It's the same great stuff. The only thing I feel like I'm missing is Levi and Erwin. I'd like them to enter the mix once again. So yeah, that's the end of season two, episode seven. I'll see you next time when... Bertholdt falls on Aaron, <laughs> I guess.